Hey everyone, so today I wanna to talk to you guys about the three vital behaviors of Beachbody and both why they're so important um, really in any business to be successful, um, but also why um, they're a big reason why I chose to become a Beachbody coach and I know why so many others chose to become that as well. So first I'm gonna just tell you what the three vital behaviors are. So the first one is being a product of the product. Um, you know, working out using the programs that have been developed, P90X, um, 21 Day Fix, Pio, all these fitness programs that have such amazing results that you can see everywhere. It's using those products as well as Shakeology, really getting the most nutritional meal of the day in that you can. Um, but something that I want to mention about being a product of the product is that um, one thing that I love about being a Beachbody coach is that I don't sell um, a product to people. I really don't. I sell health and vitality and energy to people. So one thing to note is that you don't have to be a walking billboard for Beachbody and only work out with Beachbody fitness programs and only drink Shakeology and never supplement with any different protein, um, or which just side note, Shakeology is not a protein shake, but Sometimes if I'm doing crazy heavy workouts, I want to get more protein in, so I'll just drink a protein shake after drinking my Shakeology that day. Um, so that's a part that I love about it. We're not saying, uh, first of all, you would never bash any other company. Um, when people ask me about other companies, if I know a little bit about them, I'll say, I don't know about this. This is all I know, but what I do know is about my company. Um, you know, but what I love about that is that it doesn't limit us. It, it, we are being a product of health and fitness products. Um, you know, when we host challenge groups with, um, you know, that will be following along drinking Shakeology and, um, having all of our challengers work out to one of our programs, but I also post healthy recipes. I also post, um, you know, cake, Shakeology cake recipes to substitute flour for. Um, I also post things about um, how to get a quick ab circuit in, and maybe I found that through another company. Um, or sometimes I'll post stuff about how much I love the Tone It Up girls. Um, you know, and I don't work for them, but they're great and they've created a great program, so I'll post um, stuff about that. So as long as you're not selling for something exactly the same, we want you to go to an Orange Theory class or a yoga class and um, or a CrossFit class or something like that. And in fact, through Beachbody, if you're a coach, you can even sign up to be a live instructor, which means if this is just something that you love, if you're into health and fitness, which not everyone, you know, is is a fitness, is cut out to be a fitness instructor, but if it's something that you really enjoy, you can actually get certified in Pio or TurboFire or P90X or Insanity, and you can teach them. Um, so that's just another way. You can work in gyms. You can do all these kinds of things. So I just want to just briefly talk about how being a product of the product doesn't mean that you can only drink and eat and work out to our products. Um, but it is very vital, um, you know, if I'm going to tell somebody that I lost 15 pounds by doing max 30, it needs to be max 30 and not, I lost 15 pounds by doing yoga, but I really like Beachbody products. So you do, I would always recommend finding a product or a program that you like first and um, doing the full cycle of the, pro the, of the program. So you can tell people, hey, when I did my full cycle of this, here's the results that I got. Um, but other than that, I always do other health and fitness things, mud runs, everything like that. That's why I got into this business because I love that stuff. So why would I not do it, right? Um, so that's the first one, be a product of the product. The second one is inviting. Um, and I feel like this is the one that people get the most nervous about. So I want to talk about this one um, in more detail. But basically, there's so many ways to invite people. I think the best way that we do it is that we host challenge groups, which you're in right now. This is a group. Um, so basically, what we do is we say, like, listen, I'm going to be starting my new either free clean eating challenge or Shakeology tryout challenge or um, or what, what I do every month, um, one of the ones I do is a fitness challenge. So um, what we do is we evaluate, you know, the, the level of fitness people are at, the program that would best suit that level of fitness, and we host these challenge groups where we post tips and recipes and meal plans and other women talk in the challenge groups about what helped them and, um, you know, just how their success is going, how many pounds they're losing, how many inches they're losing, and it serves as a huge accountability um, for people to, to finish the program and the full, the full cycle and to keep their nutrition on track. So instead of just inviting and saying, hey, I work for this company and it really worked for me, you should buy it. That's not what we say. We say, listen, 
you want to get, you know, is, is this something you're interested in getting, you know, healthy and making it your lifestyle? If it is, here's what I did. And I'm hosting a monthly challenge group where we're going to go through dialed in nutrition, a diet, a dialed in fitness program, and we're going to do it together starting on the same day one so that you have all three parts, the fitness, the nutrition, and then the accountability to keep yourself accountable and to reach your goals and to finish this cycle. Um, people love a program, you guys. That's why you see all the time, um, you know, you'll see uh, people who do CrossFit. They love to wake up in the morning and check what's my wad and, okay, I know what I'm going to follow today. So that's what we have at our fingertips is our programs. Um, you know, so we have that, um, but people can buy it and they can put it on the shelf and never do it. So putting them into a challenge group does a lot of things. It first of all gives them a, a deadline where you can reach out and instead of just saying, hey, buy my product, you know, you're saying, listen, I start a group every single month, the third Monday of the month. That's just what I personally do. Let's go ahead and get you enrolled if you're interested or if you know of anyone who might be interested, your friends or family that might want to go through this challenge with you. Um, and then I will get you into the group and you'll start getting our meal plan and all of our tips and tricks on how to eat less carbs or eat more for your body type or all these things. Would you be interested? And so you're giving them a deadline. You're not saying, I'm just going to leave you out to dry. Let me know if it works out for you. Um, and you're giving them accountability. So um, I love that we we invite that way. There's also when we get into more trainings, um, there's a lot of other ways instead of just personally inviting. Um, a lot of times I create a Facebook event, which is kind of a warm invite because you're basically telling everybody about your group and personally inviting them to the event. And a lot of them just click join. And then I can go back in and I can say, hey, I saw that you joined my event. I do want to let you know this is a paid challenge. Do you want some more information about what all you're going to get within the event? And there's a lot more to that. It's all in the description, um, these things. But that's another way to invite. Another way is to use Facebook groups that um, might be fitness minded. Like there's a Lululemon group. There's a um, Moms Who Run group on Facebook. I'm involved in a, a Tone It Up group. They have their own fitness program, but nobody works for them. They don't have a network. Um, they don't. They have a huge network, huge community, but they don't have like a network marketing company. So I'm in that group and I follow their workouts too. And I have reached out some of my best coaches. One of my best coaches came from that group. Me just saying like, hey, you post about this and you're part of their community and you don't even get paid for that. Would you be interested in being part of our community? And same thing, it's help. It's you have to do the work and you have to eat right, but you get paid for it. Um, would you be interested? So there's a lot of other ways. And if you decide that coaching is for you, you will not be left high and dry, guys. We have templates and scripts and video trainings like this one and groups. Once you become a coach, you're going to be in a 21-day training course on um, Facebook and Instagram and pictures and all these things. So all these things that seem overwhelming to you now, you will be so specifically trained in those areas and you will not have to recreate the wheel. I have everything for you. And that was passed down to me from some of the top, top people in the company. And I'm serious when I say top people in the company. Um, Janelle Summers is, I think she's been doing this six or seven years, but she's Shalene Johnson's sister, who's the creator and instructor of Pio Turbo Fire some other workouts as well. And since Shalene couldn't be a coach because it was a conflict of interest, she was like, you should really think about it. You're an instructor. Da, da, da. And she was one of the first Beachbody coaches. So she has worked her way up and just killed it. And she is like superstar, three-time diamond, and nobody else in the company is that. Um, so I'm getting these trainings from her. She also does audio trainings, webinars every week that we have access to. We have access to all this stuff. So I just want to let you guys know that when you're going through this inviting and trying to get information, you're not alone. Like, we have all this for you. And I always tell my coaches, um, you know, when you get excited and you want to invite people and somebody asks you a question back that you don't know, the greatest thing in the world is that you can say, you know what, this is what I love about this business. I'm so new to it and I'm not really sure yet, but I have an upline coach who knows the answer to that question. Let me just get right back to you. I always used to turn it around and say like, isn't this awesome? Wouldn't you want to do this? You're not left high and dry. Like you can just go grab someone's hand and they can tell you what to do. Um, so you never have to feel like you have to be an expert. That's another thing, you guys. You don't have to be a nutritionist. Some people are studying to be nutritionists and this just plays along and that's great. You don't have to be an instructor. You could. You don't have to be a trainer. 
you could. The door is really just wide open. Um, but I think the people who do the best in this business are the people who relate to normal people. Um, you know, if I post a picture of myself, just rock hard abs all the time, people are going to be like, yeah, I want to do that, but I can't do that. I haven't been able to lose weight in six years or whatever, you know, but if when I post pictures where I'm like, okay guys, I just gained five pounds in a month because it was my birthday month and I just went crazy. People can relate to that. They're like, yeah, you can't stay perfect all the time. You can't, you know, have no body fat all the time. And in my case, I mean, I'm not rock hard abs either. You know, I'm just trying to stay healthy. Um, and I think that really resonates with people. Um, so where was I? <laughs> I'm going to go back to inviting. I think we're talking about inviting. Um, and I think I have notes on this. So let me just see. Yeah, I do. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, so yeah, so just I guess the end of inviting that I want to talk about is just you guys are inviting people to like be their best healthy self, you know? So again, it's not like a cheesy sales tactic. You're not selling them a product or like, or another thing to note when we're inviting, we don't do parties, we don't do presentations, we don't invite somebody to lunch and then surprise, we want you to join our business. We don't do that. And all of you know, I haven't been to a lunch or anything with any of you and recruited you to be part of my business. We work our whole entire business. I work 99.9% .9 of my business on social media. Um, every top coach I know does that and has done that from the very beginning. Now, of course, every now and then I'm going to be somewhere, I'm going to meet people who are interested and maybe they'll say, oh my gosh, I have three or four friends that would be interested. Can we all go to coffee or something and talk about it? Great. But I'm not going to be that person that's going to tell someone they're going to lunch and when they show up, it's like a presentation. I mean, what, what better way to scare someone off from this 100%. So we don't do that. We don't hold any inventory. We don't do any shipping. Beachbody does that all for us. And that's all covered in your coaching fee, which is $15 a month. Your websites, your shipping, your inventory, all of that is covered for $15 a month. That's insane. Um, so anyway, guys, so when you're inviting, I mean, you just want to remember that you're helping people to be their healthiest self. Um, all right, I'm going to go on. The third vital behavior, which is my very favorite one, and it is my favorite because I can't believe that there's a company that would make this such a vital behavior. It's personal development. And what Beachbody means by personal development is that they want you to grow yourself. They want you to learn leadership tactics. They want you to learn um, the compound effect, read books like the compound effect, the slight edge, um, which is basically going to tell you like you are good enough. Put your mind to it. Here's how, you know, if you do these small behaviors, they will compound into something great. Um, you know, so it's a lot of reading like John C. Maxwell, Brian Tracy. Um, I love Shalene Johnson. She's amazing as far as motivation and goals and um, structuring your goals and reverse engineering your goals, you guys, which is so cool. You can get her um, her book, Push. Um, it's, it's like a 30-day push where she literally took teaches you how to create crazy goals and then reverse engineer them to say what needs little things need to happen for that to happen in the week, for that to happen in the month, for me to hit, get to my goal when it need, when I need to get to my goal. It's amazing. But she has a podcast called Build Your Tribe and it's all about people who are like social media, having a business on social media and on the web. Um, it's amazing. She gets top people to speak on there and it's free. A lot of the stuff is free. Um, if you're one of my coaches, you're going to get some free personal development from me. Um, I love the book Go Pro. It talks about, um, it's basically about network marketing and how to set up meetings and how to invite people without sounding sleazy and how to show them the value of something um, and how to close, close on everything. So um, that is so, 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 so important. It will keep you focused. It will keep you determined. For me, when I was working full time um, at a desk, at an office, I would listen to personal development in my, my headset while I was typing or designing or working or whatever. And it made me better at work. It made me a better mom. Um, and it was just like, God, this 10 minutes of personal development a day, how have I not been doing this? Because it has made such a difference. I mean, I, I read uh, like Brene Brown about vulnerability and shame. And it's helped me to put myself out there to post my transformation pictures, to post those kinds of things I was scared to. When I read, when you read about these things and you're like, no, it's good to be vulnerable. It's good to put yourself out there. It's strong. It's this and that, you know, um, you do it and you do it with confidence. Um, and it's just so great. I think that they have this you know, they, they believe in bettering us like mentally, emotionally, physically. It's like the whole package. Um, so I just love that about our company. I don't know any other company that says like you being better, 
Um, and not just a skill, not just like on the job training, but you being better at like spiritually and emotionally is one of the th top three things that we care about in this company for you to be successful. I mean, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, and in fact, I'm about to head to Summit, uh, which is our huge, huge, huge convention every year. It's going to be almost 300,000 coaches, you guys. Um, no, it's not. It's going to be, sorry, it's going to be like almost 30,000 coaches at Summit. We have almost 300,000 in the network. Um, but anyway, it's going to be live workouts. We're going to hear from some of like the most amazing personal development teachers in the world um, and leadership teachers in the world. So, so excited for that. All right. I am going to move on because I know this video is getting long. Um... Yeah, so I guess the last thing I want to talk to you guys about, so those are your three battle behaviors, being a product of the product in multiple ways, um, inviting, 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 um, and personal development. I, we like to say read 10 pages a day or listen to 10 minutes of audio a day of personal development. But the next thing I want to tell you about is what do you do every single day? How do you make sure that you're in line to hit your goals? Well, what we like to do is we um, we have a business activity tracker, which again, we have everything that you would need to know how to stay on task, how to do well with this business. But I think one of the easiest ways, especially to explain to people who are not familiar with the business, is to let's say that you're a stay-at-home mom with a bunch of kids and or you work full time or you have multiple jobs, um, how are you going to find time for this business? Everybody asks that. Um, and I would say where we like to tell people to start is with your power hour. We call it a power hour. And what that means is for one hour a day, whether you need to break that up in like 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes a day um, or however you need to break that up. For one hour a day, you get done the focused tasks that you need to get done that day. And those are going to be some tasks like this, posting on social media three to five times a day. Now, there's lots of automated tools that you can use to where, say something really cool happened yesterday, or you want to post a faith post that you had at church, but you already posted a church post. You could save that. You could post it on Monday, and you could automate it for it to post Monday with all your typing and everything, and you won't have to remember to do it on Monday. So that's a long story, but um, it's posting on social media three to five times a day. It's inviting three people a day to either whatever challenge you have running or you're promoting or to the business, presenting the business to at least three people a day, just saying like, hey, I saw that you did X, Y, Z. Have you ever thought about working from home? That kind of thing. Um, the next is... Um, and your power hour is, oh, following up. If people sent you a bunch of messages, you're not working, you know, from 8 to 8, 24 hours a day. So you don't have to respond right away, but make that part of your power hour. Um, so people sent you a bunch of messages or emails. you got to follow up within that hour. Um, you know, get people signed up. Um, what's the other thing in the power hour? I probably have it somewhere right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess the whole point of the power hour guys is that if you're doing those, that power hour and I will post that in the group just so you guys can see what it looks like. I'll put it in the file section of the group, but if you're doing that power hour every day and that is just a consistent set of behaviors that is going to make you successful. Brandy Botts, who's a million dollar, she's part of the Millionaires Club in Beachbody. She earns over a million dollars a year uh, doing this, working from home in yoga pants and getting to lead just awesome women that she chooses um, to lead that are inspired. Um, she will say that the only thing she could attest to why she was so successful is because she did those behaviors every single day. And what happens, and you'll read this in the Slight Edge and some other um, personal development books, is that when you do those behaviors over and over and over and over, it creates what um, Jeff Olson calls the big mo, um, a big, huge ball of momentum. And you're doing this, you're posting, people are seeing that you do this, people are now comfortable that, oh, she's like a, a wellness coach or she's a fitness coach. Oh my gosh, I see her transformation. Oh my gosh, she reached out to me, but I really don't think I can afford it this month. Oh my God, I keep seeing her. I keep seeing her. And what happens is people are inspired. People um, think your posts are funny or happy. They see that you're a happy person. They see that you're changing your life for the better. And they reach out and they say, hey, you know what? Are you going to do a challenge next month? Yes, I do one every month. Great. I'd love to be a part of it. And that's what happens. So it's really just doing those consistent behaviors, you guys, that are going to create this momentum and are cre going to create a brand for yourself. So I know that was probably a lot, but I wanted to go over those three things. So remember, be a product of the product, 
invite, 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 get in personal development every day. Those are the three vital behaviors of Beachbody. And the th top three things that you can do every day is within your power hour, which is inviting, following up, um, presenting the business to people. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below if there's something that you have a question about or if there's anything you want to expand on um, or if you want any more information um, over these couple topics. I will be happy to reach out to you personally. But we are finished uh, with today's lesson, guys, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.